such a, it's a, such a, you know, what it, it actually, sometimes philosophers have this kind of bold, yet sometimes wrong headed decision to burn all the bridges with every philosopher and every philosopher. What Karnap does, he always burns, he starts his position with, by burning all the bridges with everyone, literally with everyone. And he constantly burned the bridges to, to show himself that his position is always fragile. And the moment that fragility starts to happen in his system of thinking, he has started to make another bridge only to later on burn it again. That's, that's absolutely, I think, what, how philosophers should do. Philosophers are not supposed to be making wishy-washy uh, greetings with other philosophers. We are not diplomats, right? Really, the radicality of uh, logical foundations of probability is, I don't think that people just understand what it means. The fact he has already deflated uh, epistemology beyond belief. The fact that he has reduced the subject of experience to basically a meat puppet of logical syntax and not probability in inductive formal induction. That's just, this is basically the, uh, uh, why he, sh he should actually get credit for uh, many of AI theory, AI models today. I mean, Salabanov, of course, was uh, quite receptive of his ideas, but I don't think that he's still appreciated for two things. One, precisely because he's, he's considered to be peak headed by burning all these bridges with everyone, right? And he constantly fails in his projects only to like a phoenix come back and have a more majestic, uh, you know, uh, philosophy. But two, because the later works are extremely technical. So for example, when it comes back to all meaningful philosophical sentences or sentences about the form of sentences, you can actually think about it in terms of observational statements. You know, applied to the notion of observation, the thesis, this thesis of, uh, you know, meta language, states that philosophical conceptions, this is actually uh, from Oberden, uh, essay on Karna. He says that philosophical conceptions about the nature of observation are properly expressed opinions about the syntactic analysis of the statements describing observations. You have to need to go to a system of hypothesis, holistic view. The same thing that Carnap wants to do with the attempt of metalogic and here logical syntax. He just is not, yeah, maybe that semantics for him at some point early as some sort of experiential pragmatic load that he wants to uh, done with, uh, to be done with, but it's not really that. It simply thinks that um, uh, any sort of assessment uh, uh, or verification of semantic statements uh, already assumes too much and it's all, all already too narrow of, a, of, a, of, a, of an enterprise. He wants to go back to a more uh, you know, generalized view, which is the syntactic view. So that's one. But then he noticed that he can't do, he can't explain all scientific statements by way of the sort of attempt at syntax. It's hard to say historically why, but he thinks that whether he thinks that it actually pigeonholes the idea of science or that sooner or later that sort of syntactic reduction of all semantic statements run into a dead end.